If you're in a rush, if you don't know what makeup you should wear, or you just don't have time, I have the perfect, fast and easy makeup look you should wear this New Year's Eve. darlings how are you doing this video is so last minute and I'm so sorry guys but I wanted to give you a makeup look that you can make without making much for and that suits any skin color or any clothing you wear so let's go into it today we're going to use the Natasha Denona mini nude palette pack that comes with the Natasha Denona brush for free it cost me 22.49 euros on sale the original price is 29.99 euros at the moment in sephora spain but if you can get it on sale go ahead to get it i went to sephora murcia with my bestie and her little sister and the store was so clean and organized it was a pleasure to go there and also the shop assistants were on point they asked me as they always do if i needed help and on the moment i told them i was okay they didn't disturb me or put any faces and when i needed help and i went to them they were so nice so 10 of 10 for the shop and of course for ellie and her teammates now i chose this palette for this look because it really is a very good brand and I would love to collect all the Natasha Denona palettes but they are so expensive so I'm starting with the minis this palette is a limited edition and it's a new launch so I'm so excited to give it a shot talking about the color story we have five brownish shades that you can use for everyday looks or give some intensity in the nights it says it has two creamy mates two luscious metallics and one high impact duochrome shadow also the website says the palette allows you to create both subtle sophisticated daily time looks and dazzling evening glam so that's what we're looking for today and some of you guys have tagged this palette of Natasha Denona as the best of the mini palettes if we talk about quality let's see how it swatch this is how it looks on my fingers i think it is absolutely gorgeous you know it's so pretty it's so luminous it gets all the attention and you can see this color it changes into another it has a shift color i think the shimmers are extra creamy oh my god how beautiful is this they are body oh my god yes pigmented and extra reflective oh god look at that that's so stunning the mattes seem to blend beautifully and so far so good oh my god did i fell in love with the palette getting into the makeup look we're going to start with eyebrows just brush them upwards and fill them in if it feels necessary and with the fix brow school plus set gel from xx revolution i'm going to set them in now to prepare the eye i'm going to use essence eyeshadow base as a primer and blend it into the skin with a brush you can use any eye primer eye base or concealer now we blend I'm using the Essence blending brush. This is from a collection from one year ago, so it doesn't have any name or a number, but just a blending brush.
And I have this makeup tape, but you can use any tape, tool, or even a card to make sure we end up with a nice and sharp look. You can also ignore this step if you don't want to do it. Then, with the Natasha Denona palette and the brush, we are going to take the matte shadow Quoin and put it on the mid and outer part of the crease and blend it in circles with a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona one. We are going to take just a little bit to try it out. Try to give a nice B shape at the end so the makeup looks clean. Now with bronzage and our fingers, we are going to use it all over the lid and then blend the outer part with the same brush. Oh my god, this is melting into my skin. I don't have to do anything. It is melting. This is so good. I think by far this may be the palette with the most quality I own right now. Maybe? With the same finger and without dipping in, just with the color I got from the first time, I'm going to go in and see how far can we go. Okay, that was enough. It, it is it is dry right now. I'm going to dip in for the second time. I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. Okay, there we go. And as eyeliner, we are going to use Soil, that is a dark chocolate matte brown. And don't worry about messing it up, that's why we have to tape. So, to get the perfect eyeliner as fast as possible, look directly into a mirror in a straight position and with your eyes open, start making the eyeliner. If you feel like you're going to blink, blink! and then continue. I'm going to make a medium eyeliner here and a small one in the inner corners. By the way, the brush I'm using is Better Professional Makeup Number 8 Eyebrows and Eyelashes Brush. It is one of my favorites because it gives me so much precision. The brush almost did all the work by itself. I didn't need to do like any perfection because now we are going to create the lines that we don't like very much. On the inner corners, we will apply Luminol. That is the lightest shimmer shade that the palette has and also we will apply it on the eyebrow bone. This step help us to create any line on the inner corner that maybe you miss or was longer, shorter, whatever. If you feel like putting in this color, maybe take some of your eyeliner, you can go again and redo it. And I do it this way because now if I do something wrong, I have here the line of where I should go and I can correct it easily. So here we go again, making sure it looks nice and sharp. If you feel like the look is a little bit too plain, you can add in the outer corner of our eyes a little bit of sienna between the matte shade and the shimmer shade. And I'm going to do it with my fingers. Okay, so here we have the main eye and oh, it looks so good, look at this. And done in less than 50 minutes. To finish it, we're going to curl all eyelashes if needed, pop some false eyelashes and brush them out with a black mascara. The falsies I'm going to use today is from Shein, I truly love this one from Daisy. And the eyelash glue I'm going to use is from Crush Cosmetics, to dye for glue.
Oh my god, how beautiful does this look? I know it doesn't matter what color clothing you're wearing, skin color or eye color. This looks stunning on everyone. Moving into the rest of the face, we are going to look for a second skin look. Something that doesn't feel heavy on the skin and that looks beautiful and naturally pretty. First, primer. I like the Jinx Angel Bell because it's a skin perfecter that you can use all over your face and it doesn't have any silicone so my skin can breathe and look good at the same time. So I'm going to use Clarins Skin Illusion Base in the tone 108 and this is more of a tint that melts into the skin and hydrates at the same time very recommended for natural makeup looks I'm going to apply it with my fingers making dots in my face and then blend it with a sponge and with any foundation we are going to do it part by part so the base doesn't dry out and makes patch now that the base is applied Let's conceal the underbox, forehead, bridge of the nose and chin to create a strobing effect. This is when you highlight with light tone concealer certain parts of the face to define and light up the face. I feel like this is more pleasing to the eye than adding shades with contouring and bronzer. We are going to set it and for this step we are going to use a Spanish brand called Crash Cosmetics. This setting powder is this Lay 2.0 Fantasy Powder, which was a collaboration of Crash Cosmetics for Gotti Makeup, a Spanish beauty guru. This is very lightweight and thin, so it's perfect for what we are looking for. To give some color into your face, we are going to use a cut up blush from the high point of our cheekbone into the apple. And we are going to be adding more until we are satisfied. As highlighter from the Natasha Nenona palette, we are going to take again Lumino and place it on the highest points of our cheeks, bridge and tip of the nose and cupid's bow. How charming this looks! I'm so happy with the result and we didn't even finish! And finally, the lips. To prepare them and make them look bigger, we're going to use the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plum and apply a thin layer. This smells so good, bubblegum. So good. second <laughs> let me come back okay the pain now is gone it was hurting a little bit okay <laughs> and taking a brown dark color we are going to line and overline the lips in the middle so they look plumpier blend it into the center of the lips and using the Maybelline Superstay matte ink in the tone 255 Thai Genius, that is a nude color, we are going to fill in the lips with a thin layer. Do not rub your lips until it's dry, so it lasts longer. Let me set the whole face with setting spray so the makeup stays on all day and all night. I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix, this is very nice. And now with the fun. This makes the process 10 times faster. And here you have it, sweethearts. Fast, easy, sophisticated, glamorous and stunning makeup look for this New Year's. Thank you so much 
to everyone for the love received in the first video and I wish you the best for the new year. Tons of love, health and peace into your lives. You are amazing guys, more than this makeup. If you don't know who I am, check out the previous video and if you want to give us any recommendation, let us know in the comment section. See you in the next one, bye bye!